week five of the fantasy football season. And here's a few defense DST units. I look to start this week. The first one, the New York Jets or the Jets last week. I thought they played a decent defensive game. I know they got off to a bad start, down 17-0 versus the Kansas City Chiefs. But they calmed down and played all right towards the end of the game. 23 points allowed, a sack, two interceptions, and a safety versus a high-powered offense. So this week here at the Denver Broncos, one of the worst offensive lines in the league. And also a quarterback in Russell Wilson. I know he's put up fantasy numbers, but in terms of making plays and smart decisions, he really hasn't this season. So right now this Jet team... I know they don't turn the ball over, which has been a big issue for them over the last few seasons. But in terms of keeping points off the board, they've been solid at that for the most part once again this year. Only week one, 16 to Buffalo. Week two with Dallas, they got the doors blown off 30. Week three versus the Pats, only 15. And then week four versus Kansas City, 23 points after they gave up 17 in the first quarter. So this week here, it's going to be an offensive struggle for both teams versus the Gen with the Denver and the New York Jets in mile high. So this week here, I think this Jet defense plays well. And the key for them is they got to find ways to make turnovers because if they could get the turnovers going with the low score totals here versus teams, their defense could take the next step this season. But this week here versus a pretty bad offense and a game where this Jet team wants to show up, Sean Payton and this Bronco team. After the comments made about offensive coordinator Daniel Hackett, early in the season. I think this Jet defense comes out and plays a good one. Next DSTs, the Miami Dolphins. So the Dolphins, their defense really hasn't been good so far this season. But this week here, a great matchup versus the Giants that give up the most fantasy points to defenses on the season. So Daniel Jones, he was a crash test dummy in week four's ball game versus the Seahawks. Throwing a pick six, a 99-yard touchdown. And he got sacked 10 times in that ball game. So this Giant team, they're not really putting points on the board this season they've been outscored a whole lot the only game this giant offense looked good was in week two at the arizona cardinals but besides that they haven't done much and possibly Jalen ramsey could come back as well for this dolphin team so if ramsey could come back off the ir that he served four weeks even though we don't know if he is for sure that's a huge plus but in terms of getting to daniel jones in this one with the worst offensive line in the league is this giant team and this dolphin team going out for vengeance after giving up 48 points last week I think this Dolphin DST is a start and has a good ball game this week. The next DST is the Baltimore Ravens. So this Raven team, they're probably licking their chops in this one. After last week having a nice ball game versus backup quarterback Dorian Thompson Robinson. So this week here, it's possibly another backup quarterback, Mitchell Trubisky, who he knows has been a turnover machine throughout his NFL career. So Baltimore last week went into Cleveland and had a monster game, three points allowed. Four sacks, three interceptions. So right now the Steelers give up the 11th most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. So that right now we know Deontay Johnson's been out a few weeks. He's not going to play in this. Pat Fiermuth, diagnosis is out. He's out two to three weeks not playing in this. And Kenny Pickett, there's a possibility he might play, but I think he could be out at least for this week here, minimum. So right now this Baltimore Raven team, like I said, the vision ball game trying to take a bigger lead in the division. And a lot of backups are going to be playing in this one for this Steeler team. So right now with all those elements and coming off a good ball game versus a couple backups in Cleveland, I think they're going to Pittsburgh is this Baltimore defense and had a great performance and definitely a defense to start this week. The next defense is the Green Bay Packers. So the Packers, their defense has been middle of the pack so far, no pun intended, this season. A couple ball games, pretty high scoring. I know last week Detroit went in there and took care of business, putting 34 points on the board. But this week here, a good matchup at the Vegas Raiders that give up the 10th most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. So right now this Packer team, 11 days off, getting a couple guys healthy over there in the secondary and on the defense. And I think if it's either Jimmy Garoppolo or Aiden O'Connell, it doesn't matter. I think this Packer defense could put in a top 12 performance in this week's ball game. Jimmy Garoppolo already leads the league in interceptions on the season he already missed the ball game and Aiden O'Donnell he's a rookie quarterback and last week he did show some flashes charges but he also held on to the football a whole lot with Khalil Mack had six sacks in that ball game so right now this pack of defense would pretty much a second bye with 11 days off I think get healthy and play a good ball game at Vegas and I have him as a start in the fifth and final defense DST unit I have as a start this week here is the Buffalo Bills so the Buffalo defense in terms of fantasy points have been very solid this season, especially with that monster game in week three of Washington. Three points allowed, nine sacks, four interceptions, a fumble recovery touchdown 
in that one. And then week four versus a high power with Miami offense, they held their own 20 points allowed, four sacks, and in throw, a fumble recovery. So right now, this week, a great matchup in London versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. They give up the seventh most fantasy points to defenses on the season. So right now, this build team, after that tough week one loss, everything's turned around for them with three blowout victories in a row, destroying Vegas, destroying the Commanders, and then destroying Miami last week. So this week here, I think it's going to be another ball game where they get off to the hot start is Buffalo early and often. And Jacksonville is going to be one-dimensional and having to chase points in this one. And Trevor Lawrence, he really hasn't been good this season so far. So with all those factors and Buffalo playing at a high level the last three weeks, I think this DST takes care of business once again. And I have him as a start. So that's a few defense DST units. I have his starts here for week five of the fantasy football season.